iCast 2019. What's happening, everybody? What nation? We got Josh here, the owner of Vibe, correct? That's what they call me sometimes. Sometimes? Sometimes I go by that title. Yeah, but we got something new today. Tell them about what we got now. So this is the uh, the Shearwater 125. This has been a uh, two-year project. Well, just a lot of really cool things going on with I'm it. I'm seeing some interesting stuff. Tell us about it, man. All right. I wanted to... Um, solve some of the riddles, some of the things where uh, kayak anglers had to choose this feature over that feature. You have to choose this boat or that boat. Uh, we believe that we can we can fit a lot more features into this shape. I and mean, there's a lot of real estate. There's a lot of room to work with. Do you want an open deck kayak or do you want a center console kayak? Yeah, how about both? Removable pod. So you have a removable pod here that has a large uh, storage space really? that this guy is going to be reinforced and have a 200 pound braking strength on it so you can stand up walk around if you accidentally you know drop a heel on it or something you're not going to go through that lid vibe is always about uh, combining stability and speed we want you to be able to stand up walk around but we got somewhere to be and it's not where we launch strong pronounced keel on the front uh, while having a tunnel hull um, midriff and it tapers off pretty quickly on the back so what you get is a a uh, stable platform that you can stand and walk on that wants to track straight, uh, but it can also be maneuvered and turned. One of the things that we want to fit in here was four of everything. When I go offshore, I like to take four rods with me. So I want to have four rods horizontal uh, while I'm busting the surf. We all know the risk of uh, turtling a kayak when you're you know, going offshore, especially when you're coming back in. So we're, we can secure. Yep. Like a, almost like a paddle. Yeah, it's, it's a paddle keeper up on the on the flat surface here. So the bungee's down. You can keep four rods, uh, four seven-foot rods. The outside rods can fit even longer ones. Uh, your butt would stick out a little bit on the back end, but you can fit an eight, uh, eight-foot rod here and still have your uh, your rod so that's to protect it. Uh, if you're running a long camera mount for whatever reason, like you know, doing the handheld camera mounts, mm -hmm. there's a place to secure it. Great. So we've seen standing perches on kayaks before. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a fantastic idea. We just wanted it to be more accessible and more reachable. Uh, not all of our customers are nimble and can kind of climb you know, around a kayak and get to the standing perches. So I wanted to make sure that they had the ability to just drop their feet onto the standing perch, grab the stand-up assist strap, pull themselves up. So that gets you uh, like four and a half, five inches higher for just a little bit better visibility and vantage points, this standing slash sitting perch. So some people are looking at this like, I know you, I know you, can stand, <laughs> I know you can stand on that thing all yeah, day long. Yeah, oh I've yeah. been with you on the oh, water. Yeah. Uh, so people like yourself, you're going to get up there pulling around with it. What this is really for <laughs> is uh, for the guys that can't stand on a kayak. So they don't have that vantage uh, ability that you know we get when we're standing. So they can paddle to where they want to go, rock forward, lower that seat, sit back, and now they're 15, 16 inches up. Dude, game changer. Oh, uh, like a little stool, uh, sitting on a cooler, basically. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Right. So this gives you the option to, like, exactly that. Flip down what, the seat. What a simple way to get that elevated seat up there, man, or a standing platform. Yeah, standing platform, seat. That's one of the coolest things I've seen. Uh, yeah. So this seat, a little bit more on the seat, it's going to have uh, four seating positions. It has a low position, a recumbent low. This is the neutral high, uh, and then there's a recumbent high. Yeah, that's right. So that recumbent high, that's going to come in really handle, uh, handy when you drop in the uh, foot pedal drive. Propulsion. So this boat is all about being modular. I don't want to tell people how they're supposed to use the boat. If you want to paddle this boat, you got the paddle pod. If you want to drop in a foot pedal drive, this pod comes out. The uh, X-Drive adapter goes in. The X-Drive adapter is an oscillating flipper design. It drops in. So it's basically a Hobie. It's the old Hobie drive. More or less, yeah. Mar the old Mirage yeah, drive. So we have our X drive because, yeah, that patent's expired, so we can offer that base model. Okay, so, so right now I'm able to paddle this boat. I'm able to use a basically a Mirage drive system in this boat, and there's something else that this boat will do. So the other thing is this boat comes big speed jet motor ready. Designed a custom rudder kit. It's a gravity rudder kit. We, this one already has the motor installed. So this motor, or the rudder, when it when you buy it, when you buy the kayak, it has a, uh, a cap on the end of it. You pull out four bolts, remove this cap, the Bixie motor attaches, put those four bolts back in. It's about a five-minute installation. Simple. Very simple. On top of that, so we're giving you the stern option, the rudder uh, option, mm -hmm. big speed pod up here that you can mount the battery and the motor directly to it. So the whole thing is one single unit that comes out and drops in. Uh, there's uh, two bolts on the sides that you loosen up, and a hole seats on the track. 
in the track. Yeah. So you can trim that out anywhere you need it to be to get that balance just right. So if you're a guy that's not quite sure how you want to get around yet, you've got options. Options for days. <laughs> so, Josh, when's this thing available to everybody? Uh, February. It should be February is what February. we're shooting for. February 2020. I could go buy the boat, and then I could start paddling immediately. Yep. And then save up a little money, buy the Mirage Drive, yep. and then go crazy two years from now with the Bixby. Yep, exactly. We've all seen removable electronics pods on kayaks before. There's nothing new. Mm -hmm. We have our own removable pod. Um, what we're doing different on ours is we are including brass inserts along the bottom that fit Humminbird and Lowrent's uh, transducer mounts so your waterproof box can stay waterproof. We have four tackle tray slots, four of the horizontal rod stagers, and four flush mount rod holders on the back. Nice. Yeah, we have a handle on the back, but uh, reach around the sides real quick to pick up the kite. You can take both hands and reach around the side. A recessed hand grab. Right. Honestly, that's one of my favorite things. We all know how much it actually kind of sucks carrying right. heavy kayaks around. So I had a great time fishing with y'all in Pensacola. I'd love to see these in Texas someday if y'all ever make it that way for some we'll reason. We'll make it out there. We'll make it out That'd there. That'd be awesome. We've we got a lot of reasons to go to Texas. We've got dealers out there. we got a pro team out there. Customers, we've got you. Like, I, I could be out there. I take that back. I really shouldn't go to Texas because I may not come back because the rumors uh, out here. But anyway, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks a lot, Josh. Right. Pleasure. Always fun, man. The Shearwater 125 coming in hot ICAST 2019.